Both Democrats and Republicans seem to agree that a fee is needed, and that's because if you're plugging in to charge your car, you're not filling up your gas tank, and that means fewer dollars in gas tax revenue. And while a lot of lawmakers think that there has to be a fee in place, you could imagine some electric vehicle owners aren't too thrilled about the idea. A lot of electric vehicle owners say plugging in often saves them money on the cost of transportation. I don't pay for gas, but I still I pay for uh, electricity. But charging up vehicles will not help flagging gas tax revenue that serves as the primary source of funding for road projects and repairs. If you treat people fair, they're OK. Democratic Representative Ed Nielsen heads the House Transportation Committee. He's proposing a fee of $125 next year for electric vehicles. It would gradually increase to $225 in 2029. And starting in 2030, the rate would be adjusted each year for inflation. And, and if we gradually put it in and gradually people will buy into electric vehicles, this will make sense. On the other side of the state house, Republican State Senator Greg Rothman's bill would do away with the existing existing alternative fuels tax for EVs and replace it with a flat $290 fee that he says would ensure electric vehicle owners pay their fair share. There ought to be some logic behind his number and, and that's we'll negotiate the number, but uh, something's better than nothing. But if we're going to phase it in, it shouldn't stop at a number that's even below what can imagine five years from now. with. By the way, there is an alternative fuels tax that electric vehicle users are supposed to be paying, but Rothman says so many people who have electric vehicles don't even realize that they need to pay it and simply don't. As a result, he says there needs to be a much larger discussion, including this fee, about the long-term planning for Pennsylvania transportation funding. In Harrisburg, Tom Lehman, WGAL News 8.